the most common and famous occupational safety and health term is hazard. What is a hazard? What is the definition of hazard? A hazard is a source, situation or material that has the potential to cause harm, damage or injury to people, property or the environment. Hazards can be natural such as earthquakes, floods or wildfires or they can be man-made such as chemicals, electricity or machinery. Hazards can also be physical, chemical, biological or psychological in nature. If you are watching for the first time, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then like, comment and share it with your friends and fellows. Understanding and identifying hazards is important in order to prevent accidents, injuries and damage. Risk assessment and risk management are processes used to identify and control hazards and reduce the likelihood of harm. So this is the most easiest, most simple definition of a hazard. Another important term is risk. What is the definition of risk in occupational safety and health? Dear friends and fellows, in the context of occupational health and safety, risk is defined as the likelihood or probability of harm occurring as a result of exposure to a hazard combined with potential severity of that harm. In other words, risk is the chance that someone may be harmed by a hazard and the potential consequences of that harm. But here you need to remember few important points. The degree of risk is determined by assessing the likelihood and severity of the harm as well as the exposure to the hazard. The goal of risk management in occupational health and safety is to identify, assess and control or minimize the risk associated with hazards in the workplace to protect workers from injury or illness. In simple terms, in simple meaning, a hazard is something that has the potential to cause harm, while the risk is the chance or probability that harm will actually occur. Hazards can exist in many forms such as physical, chemical, biological, ergonomic and psychosocial. Risk, Risk on the other hand, depends on various factors such as the nature of the hazard, the exposure to the hazard and the vulnerability of the individuals involved. In other words, the greater the hazard, the higher the risk. Hazard is directly proportional to the risk. Therefore, it is important to identify and assess hazards in order to manage and reduce the associated risk to an acceptable level. This is the relationship between a hazard and the risk. And you will not find more simpler definition as I have explained, maybe still the points are not clear. So let us understand here with the few examples of hazards and risks to understand the concept clearly and easily. Cleanliness is one of the activity. And once we are going to clean the floors, most of the time the floors are wet. The wet floors 
is an example of hazard. Here, what is the risk? The risk is slip and fall injuries because of wet floors. As you know, chemical is a hazard. What is the risk here? Skin irritation or chemical burns. Third example of hazard is heavy machinery. What are the risks? Crushing injuries or amputations. Example number four. Working at height is a hazard. What is the risk there? Falls from height. Example number five. When we are on a construction site, a lot of machinery is working in the close proximity and there is a lot of loud noises. So what is the risk here? Hearing loss. Example number six, extreme temperatures, either cold or hot. This is a hazard. What is the risk? Heat stroke or hypothermia. Poor lighting is also an example of hazard. But the risk from poor lighting is eye strain or accidents due to poor visibility. Example number eight, working alone is also hazardous. So what is the risk there? Injuries or accidents without anyone to assist. Example number nine, over exertion. What is the risk? Musculoskeletal injuries. And the last example, example number 10, violence in the workplace. This is a hazard. What is the risk? Physical injury or emotional trauma. Dear friends and fellows, I hope after 10 examples, now your concept is clear about the hazard and the risk. Hazard is the potential to cause harm, but the result, the outcome is the risk. Snake is a hazard and snake biting is the risk. In each of these examples, the hazard is the potential source of harm or danger, while the risk is the likelihood or probability of an adverse outcome occurring as a result of exposure to that hazard. A short training session about the hazard and the risk. The relationship between hazards and risk is over. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Wish to see you soon with a new HSE tutorial. Until then, take care. Good luck and goodbye.